it's all about the materials when it comes down to it. I have materials in my backyard that you probably would love. This is Nick. Nick's been working over here in River West neighborhood of Milwaukee for about the past uh, year and a half or so you've been Correct. doing yep. this. Yep. I have to tell you, I'm always intrigued when I see a giant piece of wood getting milled. But that's what you guys do. You turn it into furniture, don't you? We do. We take these beautiful urban trees that are being uh, cut down, and we try to save as much of it as we can. So we're getting these big logs. We have Jeremiah here uh, cutting them up uh, yeah. and turning them into something beautiful. You know, and in the back of those guys, too, uh, I just see more trees, huge trees as well. So where do you find this stuff? Uh, so we go through private tree services, private parties, and then a few of the local municipalities that have uh, logs available for us. So rather than mulching and using those resources, we're trying to bring them here and save yeah. them. It's, it's awesome that you do it all seasons too, because obviously it's like 10 degrees outside roughly right now. Right. No big thing. You're cutting it up, you're making it happen too, and actually you can pull it from the, the yards and the businesses or whatever right. uh, in this type of climate as well. Yep. Yep, got him on. Uh, you know, you can tell that I don't work with wood, but Jeremiah over here, yeah, from Hamilton Hill Sawmill up in the Fond du Lac area, you're, you're pretty much ready to go, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So, you got the uh, Timber King out here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's my sawmill. Um, the viewers would have seen us cutting uh, this log earlier this morning. Um, that's so. Uh, th this is silver maple. Silver correct? maple, same it's as that finished table. A that's beautiful inside. piece. This would no longer be considered live edge correct, because correct. it's been cut, and then you use the saw to cut it. Uh, but to get it to that point, you had to run it through the mill here. Yep. And that's that's the fun part, I think, yeah, for you because it I looked love it. like the, you enjoyed it. The the the, the, lo the logs never look prettier to me than the first time I open them up. Yeah. No, no matter what other, anyone else does, you know, when you see these little dog tracks and things in here, and and see that grain pop and yeah. the color as soon as as soon as we cut that little bit of moisture starts to come out and it, the colors will fade a little bit. And you can you can bring them back with all the different techniques. Sure. But for me, this is where it's at. All right, and the dog tracks mean that there are branches sticking out of them, Yep, yep, correct? little, little branches right. were all in here. All right, some uh, some mold and mildew on that one. Yep. And uh, are you gonna run it through for so, us? Yeah, so yeah, this one here, I'm gonna, we're gonna dig a live edge slab out of this and then see what's underneath all it. All right, let's go see what's underneath that. All right, as Jeremiah cuts that, you can tell that there's a, uh, it's gonna be pretty loud back there, but the other thing that's interesting that when you first cut into it, those little dog prints that he was talking about and the grooves also give this tree or this slab that he'll be cutting off so much character. And it's so cold out here actually today that when he cuts it and has been cutting it throughout the morning, that the slabs will drop down immediately and freeze back to the wood that it was cut from. So hopefully that doesn't happen so we can actually see what it looks like. But the the debris that's flying out here, obviously the sawdust, uh, they called earlier on man glitter. I don't know how attractive it is to have man glitter on you all the time, but I'll tell you from the work that's being done here, the beginning, the middle, and the end phases when it comes to making the furniture is truly impressive. Now that he's got the mill cut off right here, and running it up, uh, we're gonna be able to. Are we gonna be able to pop that off, Jeremiah? Yep. Or do you think it froze to itself? Well, I don't think it'll be too bad. Okay. Well, we'll we're gonna find out what that looks like here. Here we go. Just putting it down. And from, wow. So if you look at the difference in color Completely of what just different. came off, to me that's the prettiest it's ever gonna look. That is something. all kinds of stuff going on in there. Look at that beautiful crotch figure in here. And roughly, how old was this tree? Uh, this is this is a limb off of a tree. I'm gonna guess that just this, a limb. this is probably. Giant. Probably 35, 40 years old. All right. And you make the drive down here to Milwaukee. How frequent? Then? Uh, usually about once every month, month yeah. and a half. Oh, it's a like working with these guys. I love them. Yeah. I love them. They're, they're great <laughs> partners. Uh, they, they're great craftsmen. They do, they do a wonderful job. Cool. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to show us exactly yeah, and, and bringing the mill down here all the way from Fond du Lac area. Fox6Dow.com for more information on the urban craftsmen as well as Hamilton Hill Sawmill up there in Fond du Lac. Thank you, Jeremy. When we go back inside, 